York Today is back for the third time today with more breaking news as your Seattle Seahawks have signed former Dallas Cowboys defensive lineman Jonathan Hankins. Welcome into the show. Tyler Jones here with you. Thanks for joining us as we break down the latest edition for the Seattle Seahawks. The news coming from NFL Network insider Mike Garofolo earlier this afternoon tweeting the following. The Seahawks are expected to sign veteran defensive tackle Jonathan Hankins. Sources say Hankins was in for a visit with the team today. And then uh, Mike uh, Gelkin, who covers the Cowboys, added some context, which was pretty interesting to this situation. He said, former Cowboys nose tackle Jonathan Hankins is expected to sign with the Seahawks. A person close to the situation said, both teams were interested. Seahawks offered more. If you've been following free agency with the Seahawks team over the last week or so, then you'll be like me and be very surprised at this news that the Seahawks actually won a bidding war. Okay? Think about this. Seahawks don't have a ton of cap space. Right? Um, and then on top of that, with what they've done, other than Leonard Williams's massive extension and Noah Fant's new deal, they haven't really spent a ton of money, specifically when it comes to outside free agents, right? And so for the Seahawks to be in a position to actually outbid for somebody is a bit surprising. I'll take it personally. Granted, the Cowboys have done probably the least of anybody in free agency anyway, but it is a pleasant surprise to me to find out this news. Now, what is Jonathan Enkins going to bring to the table for the CLC Hawks? He's a very effective two-gap, zero-technique nose tackle. And that'll provide some much-needed depth for the Seahawks defensive line. And if you've been listening to this show for the last couple of years, we have talked about the issues that have plagued this Seahawks defensive line, that they have struggled to find consistency, they've struggled to stop the run. It has been an issue with uh, that defensive line and with the front seven. Jonathan Hankins coming in is not going to be asked to be a full-time starter, okay? He's going to be a rotational piece, but he's a very good player. For what he's going to be asked to do, this is a great fit for the Seattle Seahawks as far as I'm concerned with what they need and what Hankins can provide here. What's your one-word reaction to the Seahawks signing Jonathan Hankins? I'll give you my one-word reaction coming up in just a moment, but what I hear from you guys first, what do you think of this move? Of the Seahawks signing Hankins, weigh in the comment section. Let us know what you think. We are your offseason headquarters here on Seattle Seahawks today. Nobody is covering this team like we are here on the channel. As we brought you three videos today. Just incredible, the work that we're doing here on the channel. And we're not slowing down. I don't care if the Seahawks make a signing at 2 o'clock in the morning. I got my ringer on my phone. I'll wake up. I'll rally the troops. And we'll get you a video reacting to the latest signings for your Seattle Seahawks. Why? Because we're just built different around here. And we don't ask for much around here. All I need from you guys, just as a thank you to the work that we're doing here to provide you free Seattle Seahawks content, is subscribing to the channel. That's the best way you can support us here at Seahawks today. Subscribing for free. YouTube.com slash Seahawks TV. And stay up to date what's going on throughout this entire offseason. Lock us in. We got you covered. We're going to be live tomorrow. What if they sign somebody in our live show tomorrow? It happened last week. We're going to party. We're going to have a great time. So subscribe now. Lock us in. Let's get to our next milestone of 51.5 thousand subscribers. Need your help to get there. Join the family. You'll be glad you did. YouTube.com slash Seahawks TV. My own word reaction is helpful. Help is on the way. This Seahawks team needed some help here. And here's one thing I really like, too. We mentioned him coming over from Dallas. You know who else came over from the Dallas Cowboys? New defensive coordinator, Aiden Durdy. He was the Dallas Cowboys defensive line coach. And so you already have that familiarity between Aiden Durdy and Jonathan Hankins, that they've already worked together. Durdy already knows what to expect from Jonathan Hankins. He'll be a natural fit in his role in the Seahawks defense on that front. And what we've seen the Seahawks do when it comes to putting together this new roster and the coaching staff, is that it, it, it's been like, uh, you know, 
six degrees of Kevin Bacon of some sorts, right? Where you're finding the connections, where somebody knows somebody, and the Seahawks have been building this with guys they're comfortable with that know what the expectations are. And Jonathan Hankins, with that connection to Aiden Dirty, knows what the expectations are. And the veteran experience here. We mentioned, played with the Cowboys recently, was with the Raiders before that. That was when he uh, lost that burger-eating contest to Chat Sports' own Mitchell Renz uh, several years ago. Uh, I hope that he is a better football player for Seattle than he is at competitive eating because Mitch just took him to task uh, that day. Uh, also was with, with the Colts, the Giants, uh, 152 career games played with 134 starts throughout his career. The numbers aren't too flashy, if we're going to be frank, uh, when it comes to Jonathan Ankins. Three sacks last year, two tackles for loss, 27 tackles. But with that said, those sacks, although it wasn't gaudy numbers, it was the most sacks that he's had in a four-year stretch. So even though he's gotten older, uh, he still played at a, the – best he's played in the last several years as far as that goes. His grades, according to the nerds at Pro Football Focus, uh, nothing crazy. Defensive grade of 51.8. Run defense grade of 49.9. Tackling grade of 47.3. Pass rush grade at 62.8. And coverage grade at 65.4. So those are numbers that I can work with for being my backup uh, you know, defensive tackle for coming off the bench as far as that goes. I can live with those type of statistics, quite frankly. Now, the next question you might be asking, why do you bring in Hankins? Why Big Hank compared to some of the other guys on the market? And compared to a guy like, let's say, Mario Edwards, who's not coming back to Seattle, well, it's kind of a change of philosophy of sorts for the Seattle Seahawks on the defensive line. Let me explain here. So Mario Edwards, for example, was a guy that weighed about 280 pounds. Mike McDonald has put an emphasis on finding the big hog mollies, right? And that's what Hankins is. He's 320, all right? I mean, that guy, he's, he's, he's had a few cheeseburgers, even if he can't eat them as fast as Mitchell Renz. He's had a few. And so what you're going to see the Seahawks do with guys like Jonathan Hankins and what they're trying to do is – reestablish themselves through size and strength to win in the trenches there. That they're taking on a new philosophy. They don't want to be a finesse football team. They want to be a physical football team, which all football fans should love to hear. When you want to be more physical than the guy in front of you, want, you want to win at the line of scrimmage, and that's why you bring in a guy like Jonathan Hankins here. Mostly an early down defender. Don't expect him to be on the field uh, in third down opportunities as far as that goes. And so then, what does this group look like? There's about six key contributors at the moment. And obviously, we still have a ways to go in free agency, potential trades, drafts, and all that. So this could change. But at the moment, here's what we're looking at for the Seahawks deep line rotation. Leonard Williams, he is going to be uh, the face of this group, right? For many years to come, highest paid player, he was the best player on this Seahawks defense the second half of 2023. I expect that to continue there. Jaron Reed, going to hold things down as you're starting nose tackle. Jaron Reed had a nice start to 2023. Hopefully, he looks like what he did at the start of the year. And then there's Draymond Jones. Draymond Jones has got a chip on his shoulder. He's got something to prove. Because if we're going to be honest here, Draymond Jones, last offseason, uh, they paid him all that money, and it looks like he got way overpaid for his lack of production in that Seahawks defense a year ago. Maybe playing under Mike McDonald and Aiden Dirty, we'll see Draymond Jones' play elevate. That's what I would hope, uh, because if not, then Draymond Jones is not going to be back with the Seahawks in 2025. He's got something to prove. Hopefully they get the version that they thought they were getting from the Denver Broncos. Behind those guys, Mike Morris, nice young cat with some potential. We'll see if he can... Get some more minutes uh, on this Seahawks defense. Jonathan Hankins, he fills that nose tackle spot. And then there's Miles Adams uh, as well. So with that said, what is your grade of this signing? Let me know in the comments section. I'll give you my grade here in just a second. I like this. I very much do. I want to hear from you guys first. A, B, C, D, or F, way in the comments section. Tell us what you think. My grade, I'll go with the solid B+. 
this is a, a good signing for Seattle. I think the defensive line is headed in the right direction. Um, it's going to be much improved from what we saw. I like the change in philosophy. I give it a solid B-plus personally. For more Seahawks coverage, subscribe now for free. Lock us in. We're going to continue to cover free agency like no one else is here on Seahawks Today. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.